Oh, hit that, <clears throat> hit that thumbs up button, y'all. What's up, man? So, rest in peace to the legend Larry King. Woke up this morning and seen that. I was like, damn, you know, now they say he died from COVID-related issues. He had COVID-19. You know, nowadays you could die from a heart attack, and if you had COVID three months ago, you go as a statistic. So I don't even want to get into all that. But uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't say this is a tragedy. He was 88 years old, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, when you when you really get past 75, you're really living on borrowed time. Um, so I wouldn't say it was a tragedy. It was more of like a shock and just a sentimental loss to me. When I thought about it, this reminded me of Alice Trebek. You know, this this brought me back to like my grandparents watching Jeopardy every 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 night at 7:30 or whatever, and then my granddad would watch Larry King. Like back then, you didn't need a, a phone or a watch to even know what time it was. If you had a TV, okay, you knew your court shows and Price is Right. Okay, it's morning time. Uh, afternoon talk shows, soap operas. Okay, cartoons go off. It's getting late. <clears throat> nine. If it's, you see Larry King on your TV, you know it was like nine o'clock because that was like a staple. And TV here for like what thirty years. He was the nine o'clock slot on CNN, you know. And then when you watch Mash, when you see Mash come on, you knew it was time to go take your ass to bed. You know what I mean? That da, 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 da. like ain't nobody watching Mash, but that was that was the lineup. That's just how it was. That was that was iconic, man. Larry King was this old white dude. He wasn't a bigot. He wasn't a racist. He called it down the middle. And he'd be out there with those thick glasses and those suspenders. And it's crazy to me, how is he more relatable than the guys who replaced him? Because I, I was I was more into Larry King than Anderson Cooper. And, and don't even get me started on Don Lemon. You know, that they had the unfortunate responsibility to try to replace a TV legend. And they've gotten mixed reviews and the ratings have kind of taken a dip. Larry, they replaced him on CNN a few years back, but they had him on like a... He was doing this YouTube thing online. He was still interviewing people. So it wasn't like he couldn't do it anymore. But I guess he got to that point of age where he was starting to forget stuff. And they just, it's kind of risky putting an elderly person on live TV every single week. So they had to make the transition and move on from Larry to somebody younger. Um, but like I say, I, I wouldn't say this is a tragedy. He had a good one. You know what I mean? He had a good damn life. A lot of us are not going to make it to 88 years old. You know what I mean? The way the world is going, I, do, I, I don't want to be here in 2060. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's 2021. Do you know how crazy this shit is going to be in 2060, 2070 or whatever? I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I want to die young, but damn. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if everyone thought 2020 was like an admiration. It was just going to be one bad year. I, I say 2020 was the start of a new a new, a new new world, like a new world order or something. This shit is not going to go away um, a lot of things are still carrying over from 2020 legends thing. Hank Aaron passed yesterday. That was another one, uh, 86 years old, you know, baseball legend, home run leader for like 33 years. Used to get a lot of racist hate mail. He used to get like 3000 hate mail letters a day. Like Hank Aaron went through some shit, you know what I mean? But when, when people of this age, legends like this die, to me, it's not necessarily sad, really. It's just sentimental. You know what I mean? These, these men lived their lives. These men lived double the life of with most of us. You got cats out here dying at 20, 21 years old. That to me is more tragic than someone who lived a full life, had great grandkids and seen everything, been around the world five, six dozen times. Like these men lived their lives. It's just sentimental to us because a lot of us grew up watching these guys. So, you know, rest in peace to Larry King. Um, CNN is probably going to be talking about that all day. There's nothing else is going on. Good dude. You know what I mean? And uh, he held it down for a long time. I mean, Larry was the, the best interviewer in the business. You know what I mean? You wanted to see a good interview. I don't know if he interviewed, like, serial killers and shit like that. But, you know what I mean? If you was anything big time in the last 30-something years, Larry King interviews you. That was, that, was a big, that was a big deal. Like, he's right up there with all the TV icons, the Simpsons, uh, Bob Barker, Price is Right. All of that shit, you know what I mean? Like, he's a teller. He should probably be on TV Mount Rushmore. He's up there with Jay Leno, David Letterman, and Johnny Carson, and all of them, you know, TV icons. I mean, Larry was that dude. So a lot of people are feeling some kind of way right now today. But I definitely wouldn't call it tragic. I mean, the guy was here for – he was. He would have been 90 in two more years, dog. That That's not tragic. That was a blessing he was even here to be around that long. So rest in peace to Larry King, bro.